I know, I know, the recent YouTube updates haven't been good. Google Gemini potentially stealing our videos, likes instead of views, and smaller creative rewards. But I think I found a good update today, a great one actually. In fact, this YouTube update could, and I do emphasize the word could, be a game changer. YouTube is a search engine monster, and you can find answers to anything you want, but it's not necessarily geared towards long-term holistic learning. You'll find out bits and pieces of information from a video over here and another one from a video down there. To learn something of substance, people usually turn to something like Udemy, Skillshare, or Masterclass, where you can take on full-on courses that go into the detail that YouTube content doesn't typically cover. And that's the missing piece of a puzzle YouTube is now rolling out courses. They basically look like this and include features like course progression, downloadable materials, and discussion areas. For all users of YouTube, this may represent a massive unlock of learning potential because, as is the expectation on a the platform, there are going to be tons and tons of free courses. And for creators, there are financial gains to be made as well because you can charge for courses. So no longer will you have to try and push a viewer off platform to another course site it should all, fingers crossed, be seamlessly integrated into YouTube. But I am curious to know what YouTube's cut of these courses may be. No details yet, I suspect it'll be 30%. The official line right now is that YouTube is rolling courses out to creators. So I suspect it's gonna be a couple of months before most of us see it. However, right in the middle of filming this video, we got access to this feature. So this is your, I guess, exclusive first look and it looks pretty straightforward. It's very similar to setting up a playlist, if truth be told, by creating a title, description, and then adding videos to the course. It doesn't look like creators can charge for courses yet, and the support pages do say that courses are still in a testing phase, so there is plenty of work still to do before this is fully rolled out. So obviously, the greatest advantage YouTube has with courses is reach. Billions of people hop onto a platform every single month, and now they're all going to have access to this purposely curated content. Now, it could be argued that YouTube are a little late to this segment of video content, but it's not the first time. They weren't really the first to bring short form vertical video or podcast to the masses, but now they're one of the leaders. YouTube courses makes sense and it should work brilliantly, but there is one thing about all of this that worries me from a creative perspective, very much so discovery. These are the places where you'll find courses, which is fine, but it kind of feels as if they're just bundled in with everything else on YouTube. And when I did a search and found a course, it didn't look any more appealing than your average playlist, save for the wording and badge here. You know, it really is time YouTube updated these search filters and the search page in general to make it easier for users who clearly have intent to find what they're looking for. YouTube also says that courses will be available from this link, but I don't really know what that means yet since it seems to redirect to this more general learning page. Courses will also show up here in the explore section of a homepage, but indulge me for a second. What if they appeared here? Wouldn't that be a bold move that completely disrupts online education if everybody saw it? Just a thought YouTube, just a thought. The greater the discovery opportunity there is for creators, the more incentive creators have to make them because courses take a ton of time. What I'm thinking about here is the first mover's advantage. Imagine if you're the first channel on YouTube to put a course together around learning to speak English as a second language or cook Italian food for beginners or start a new YouTube channel. Yeah we're thinking about doing this. And that's because there are videos that have been at the top of the search rankings for decades because they were the first. But by doing this, we are putting our trust in YouTube to make courses widely available and widely discoverable. What happens if YouTube doesn't push courses in the way that we hope and they just turn into glorified playlists? And I don't know about you, but we've never had any success with playlists. That is a lot of time and effort to put into something that just might not be worth it. And what happens if it goes too much in the other direction? Courses become overpowered when it comes to discoverability. Creators will then find a way to hack them to get more views and more subscribers with low quality content and dare I say it, misinformed and misleading courses. It is a fine balancing act. And so I now watch and wait with intrigue, which is exactly what you should do and be ready to act.